Hey everyone, welcome to MatchXR. Uh, I'm here with Katja Huttunen, who is a master game educator, and Konsta Mikko Korhonen, who is a game education coordinator at the School of Gaming Galactic. Uh, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourselves and what you do? Okay, so yeah, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Konsta Mikko. I'm the game education coordinator in School of Gaming Galactic. Oh, and uh, yeah, uh, I've been working as a game educator for over a year and started as a coordinator this fall. Uh, so I'm basically the one in charge of, of organizing the clubs who will be the instructor, the game educator of each club and such. And uh, I do basic uh, game educator stuff. I have my own club sometimes. And then I'm also master Kedu, and I help other game educators that we have, uh, mostly in the education edition uh, uh, worlds and our bedrock edition, because both of those whole game educator need to needs to host the worlds. So there is some te uh, technical difficulties. So I'm the person who kind of helps that the multiplayer worlds actually works, and I'm the person who built this. Great job. Really good job. Uh, do you want to tell me a little bit about the School of Gaming Galactic? What is it? What do you guys do? Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, School of Gaming Galactic is basically a platform for game education. We started in uh, spring 2020, uh, basically from scratch, uh, organizing online gaming clubs and only with a bunch of people. And now we're here, we have quite a lot of game educators, uh, like over a hundred different game clubs and uh, over a thousand gamers in our clubs. So here we are. I guess you guys are located somewhere specific and then people from all around Finland or maybe all around the world are coming to join you. Yeah, we have clubs organized in different languages and countries. Uh, and the most of our gaming clubs are like organized distance. So we can basically, the game educators are all around Finland, also in different parts of the world. And so are the gamers. So it's, it's the future of, of educating. Yeah, I started, I have, um managed to host clubs for like three different countries, no, four different countries. So it's really, it's like I'm in Finland, Anikoski, and at my computer, I can host a club for anywhere. Yep, that really does sound like the future of education. Uh, then I wanted to ask you about your personal journeys with XR. So how did you start out in the VR walls and such? And I guess let's start with Katja. Yeah, it started when I was um, studying. I'm a practical nurse. Uh, I was a student <laughs> in the Poké Vocational College in Anekoski, and we started having this kind of event. There was like EduXR or into a week or something like that. Our our school was the like main host on those events. And I wanted to be a part of it because it was super cool. And normally I was the camera operator. I was the streaming person. I was the person who edited those together. So that was how it started. But I always wanted to kind of learn more. But I'm not really good with that kind of building stuff. But I had like lots of help. And now actually I work with Poké Vocational College. Uh, that's like my main job. So we decided to like collab with School of Gaming. And because I work with both of those companies, this is how I decided to do this. Yep, that sounds great. And how about you? Yeah, uh, well, I am not yet too experienced in, in XR stuff, but I can say that School of Gaming is looking to expand its its products and and actions in XR uh, worlds. And Katya has been one of the the hardworking people in School <laughs> of Gaming doing this kind of stuff. 
but for me personally i haven't uh, i'm not yet too experienced in this uh do you want to tell me a little bit about the space yes this is the our all space world all sog world space on our minecraft java edition world it's the hub that everybody comes and they start our clubs and behind you can see there is a different color portals uh, you spawn on the middle of those and then when you come our minecraft world uh, if you are normal clubs you go the yellow portal if you are one of our camps you go the blue portals green one there is like open world that everybody can join but yeah this is ca uh, kind of our like um, main world that you can join uh, how did you decide on this space how did comes into action this spring we have one of kind of uh, one year anniversary event or like kind of spring event before summer and i wanted to have kind of alt space uh, event and uh, we have one of our normal alt space world kind of lecture hall there was the speaking and then i wanted to do something creative so I decided to try this world building and because I'm not really good builder or 3D modeler, I decided to use our already existing world. Uh, how do you see the roles uh, of children or young people in the XR industry in the future? Uh, I think it's like a um, really good opportunity to teach them like a lot of different skills. like. We are planning to have different kind of VR happenings, and in this world, we need to learn like social skills. They are similar than in normal world, and uh, all of our clubs, we with social skills are really big part of that. So we are teaching them how to work in like internet world and how how kind of socialize there. But one thing is that because this is so much like a game, like if you know Sims or minecraft or stuff stuff like that that you actually build stuff uh, i think it's a good way then to learn how to build this kind of worlds and at the moment i think the pickle bottleneck of this kind of events are that there's not enough people to build them and do you have anything that you could tell us about your company that would like capture the audience why should people come to you especially young people uh, i guess well, yeah, uh, some some things we've done uh, we could mention here are that we we have uh, started clubs in different languages, uh, which is both uh, accessible to to uh, children who whose mother tongues are from different from different countries, but also uh, it is crossing language barriers. We have uh, clubs for Finnish children who live abroad or or vice versa and also we have uh, piloted a a club for sign language which was really really great so uh, and also started um, clubs with northern Sami language which is a really uh, small language and this kind of stuff so so we are trying to reach reach all the all the different parts and um, parts of the world, um, and yeah, and also we cover different different themes and games. So uh, it doesn't matter if you are into uh, creative stuff like Minecraft or if you're into uh, more like creating uh, narratives or if you're into uh, say esports or or stuff like that we we are co continuously expanding on different games and themes and try to find the educational value in those so that's that's something i would say uh and how about the challenges uh what do you feel is the most challenging in your work working with we are i think the biggest thing is the because not everybody have like same equipment or don't everybody don't have the same amount of money so there is going to be people who are going to be sad because they're going to joy because they don't have VR headset so i think that's the the biggest one that we are going to show that 
it's going to be like part of our programs, but it cannot be like the main part because uh, and same thing is with computers, like there is games that some people can run better than other ones. And now we are also working with like uh, different uh, towns and cities in Finland. And there is kind of after, after school stuff there. And some of those are actually held in the school building. So maybe people who don't have like computer can also join our worlds better now. But yeah, I, I think the biggest one is that there is going to be equality about those who can join and who cannot join. And yeah, that's the, that's the biggest one. And there's also, there is a way you know, to change that, that if you don't have like some kind of, uh, your hands doesn't work so well. So because VR is really kind of, you, you need to kind of use your both hands. So that's that big part, but there is software that you can emulate that. Or if you are in wheelchair, a lot of programs in VR expect you to be able to kind of go down and go up and stuff like that. But there is like software that can help with that. But that's also a little bit a problem because it's, it doesn't happen in Minecraft. It doesn't happen, uh, matter if you are in wheelchair or if you have different kind of learning difficulties or stuff like that. But VR, it kind of bumps up a little bit more than normal games. If you could collaborate with anyone in the world on a VR project, who do you think that would be? What would be your dream project and dream collaboration? Yeah, th this this wasn't so easy to answer, but I asked uh, from Mikko Perala, the CEO of, of School of Gaming, and he said that definitely uh, United Nations or, or UNICEF would be uh, like a dream collaborator for us in, in VR. <laughs> and Mika has like huge plans, and I think that's part why School of Gaming is so sex successful, because it's not like we are we are gonna be like more thing in Finland. It's like no, no, we go like other countries, and it's always expanding. Like I think most of people would be like really afraid to do those kind of things, but yeah, I think Mika is really good, like that business side of things and be like no, no, we can do stuff. So yeah, I, I don't really see big. any problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heat yeah. trends really huge, <laughs> and we use internet, so it's not a problem. Everything is kind of small. So then, how do you see the future of this industry? How do you think things are going to develop from here on? Yeah, I think it's like really going up. Like I think it's the big thing is that how we are going to use how the people who are going to why VR headset and what what are the worlds or software they're gonna use? What is gonna be every day? Because a lot of people bought VR headset, but because it needs some kind of space around your house to actually set it up and everything like that. So I think the big thing is gonna be that what kind of equipment we get. Like I have actually the Quest 2 model, so it's easy because it doesn't have any cords. I can go easily and I can set up it easily. But it's also the world, the softwares that how how well they are gonna work, how multiplayer it's gonna be. Because single player games are okay, but I think the VR, the big thing is the community. So yeah, I, I see good things, but it's totally it needs um, it needs to be seen who is gonna use them and how. Yeah, and the School of Gaming is uh, already like pioneering in, in game-based learning field in Finland. Yeah. And we we would love to expand our knowledge to other countries, but also VR is, is a like a place uh, or a platform that we would also love to get enough expertise so that we could we could like be the ones that that would be asked when 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 it's about game education in VR. Okay, great. Uh, and for MatchXR visitors, obviously we are here in your cool space. Uh, uh, Why do you think people should visit you here in our partner world? Yeah, we have some surprise coming. I, I think it's gonna be. Uh, uh, it's the only Minecraft world that I know, and I have been doing VR and all space stuff for some time. So that's really good. Come see how to how can you make your own world like this? And we 
I'm gonna be here the whole, whole event, I think. Sometimes I'm gonna be somewhere else, but you can find me here. And I think we are gonna uh, have some kind of workshops in here. I'm not totally sure because most of our kedus have like own work or they are in school, so I'm not promising anything. <laughs> but yeah, we are gonna have some kind of workshop here. So if you are interested about game education or clubs that we have, so you can come here and talk to us, and we can tell you more. Uh, if we can, we will put this in the program so people at home can check the program out and see what's going on in here. Um, yeah, and I hope we see a lot of you come in here and check out this awesome space because you can't see much of it in right here where we are, but it's huge and it looks great. Uh, and where else can we find you on social media, your website and such? Yeah, you can find us. Uh, our website is sog.gg. We are in Instagram in SOG Suomi, SOG Espana, SOG Latino, and also in Facebook uh, as School of Gaming. Awesome. Check them out. Go there on the internet. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining us, and I really hope that you guys help a lot of young people find the joys of VR. Thank you. Thank you.